up to dance our people you don't know they again and we have an internet mix up one for sure you no know? everybody has a miss kitty and her husband in a beer problem one video surface with miss kitty where she had talked about if a man and a woman left nothing wrong if the woman still big up the man same way that video they know i give some people some hint that miss kitty and her husband break up after that now enough people have come out with a rumor say miss kitty husband want a dna test because maybe the child with them have and a theme one to all the rumors strong and all people we have this man where was allegedly miss kitty boyfriend him come out and react to the situation him and make we know say from miss kitty and her husband have the baby him tell the husband for have a dna test and him even run with a rumor say maybe the baby a theme one and as far as me see it, people the rumor has start out or nothing because they must say the video there with miss kitty a address relationship values is a long time video but the people them just a see it so them feel like miss kitty and her husband in a some relationship problems the people them go as far for stretch a rumor and i said miss kitty husband want a dna test and to all the rumors strong it reached miss kitty ex-boyfriend till he must speak about it so them two videos they were have to show in people the Miss Kitty video will spark all of the rumors and Miss Kitty ex-boyfriend I react to the whole situation. But before I go to it, we just want to give you a like, share and subscribe that are even a subscriber as yet. Make a run through that one I phone now. The relationship do fall apart. I just one of them things in alive. I swear it go. I don't obey nobody's son. I don't tie nobody. I don't go to march drugs to go by a black candle. So I'm gonna read the Psalm 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. 6 to 6 Psalms from the people them son. I'm gonna tie nobody son in a sweat rice. I have nobody son name from parchment people put in a fridge. So if it is that the relationship don't work, I just me me won't be the first, nor the last. I swear it go. But because you anticipate. So oh man might like, oh, she has been up her husband. I don't know um my, 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 if you left it, what if you left what 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 I mean? So because you have to the man I go left, that means you're not going to give the man his props. And that's what someone will know. Because you don't hang on from the negativity so much, it permeates your relationship. If we come to that crossroads and we have to separate our part, I'm just one of them things in our life. I saw life go. But I am not going to, um, what do you call it now, invite any negativity into my marriage or into my relationship. I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to pray over it. I'm going to ask God to sanctify and bless and keep and, and make our bond stronger. Yeah. In, in my life, I'm so left far. My... All right, then. I even feel left me. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? I'm going to leave me outside. And what? I won't be the first, not the last. People, people married for 30 years and left. People married for 25 years and left. Yeah, people know what Miss Kitty has said they saw. And as I say, other video there sparked the rumor will make everybody has say Miss Kitty and her husband in a some relationship problems. After that, no people, we see Miss Kitty ex-boyfriend pick up on the rumor and him have theme opinion upon the whole matter. Me here say, the baby mother, husband and half sir. To DNA test now. It's all over social media. Say so my baby mother husband want a DNA test. From the baby born. From the baby born. The first thing we come out and say. He tell him if you go do a DNA test. And he sit down there like an idiot. Look how long me tell you if you do a DNA test. Look from when. Look from when me tell you if you go and do a DNA test upon the baby. And now we all come by you and do DNA test. Because if you do the DNA test, I'm going to get a surprise and get a shock. Now it's all over the internet now, all over social media. My baby mother is trending again because everybody has said, I say her husband. Her husband asked her for DNA test and she said, she now do no DNA test. The mala say her husband filed divorce. They don't believe that. 
I don't believe Sarah's band filed divorce. Sarah's band feels a man I are still a touch on the choir. <clears throat> I don't no kiss and tell. I don't no talk. I don't no, no depend on that. I don't no come and so talk about that. When I come and so talk about is that I want the trio we go up on the Maori show. I want the three of we to go on the Maori show. And do the DNA live, live on the Maori show. More we do the DNA, make the world see a fool for pitney. Oh, we are close to our food now, people. Good luck for spice. We see spice in Africa. I help out the young ones, them with some back to school items. So, we have a big old spice pan one year and tell her to continue the good work. Grace Hamilton Latoya, popularly known as Spice partnered with MYO Global to bring smiles to the faces of students at La Anglican Basic School on Friday, November 22, 2024. Her generous donation included shoes, fabric to sew new uniforms for every child, snacks, whiteboards, and personal care items. Spice emphasized the importance of giving back to society, sharing her passion for helping children in schools during her travels. She spoke from her heart, recounting her humble beginnings in a small community in Jamaica. So outside of me being the queen of dancehall, I also have a foundation called the Grace Hamilton Women Empowerment Foundation, which enrich women through education and entrepreneurship. And I have been doing this for quite a few years now. Every year I find, you know, somewhere and I give back to kids. I myself um, come from humble beginnings. My slogan is from homeless to greatness because I was once homeless. Growing up, she faced challenges like attending school with limited food, a single pair of shoes and only one uniform, which she had to wash and wear daily. Despite these hardships, she rose to global fame, showing the students that resilience and determination can overcome even the toughest challenges. And so I just want to remind people who look like me that it is possible to have big dreams and think big. And so coming here to Ghana, I had to give back to the children because I used to go to school with nothing. I remember I didn't even have books not bags or nothing. So today I'm here to give back to the La Ang Anglican Basic School. I brought shoes, paid for their uniforms, bought the material and also paid for each individual to be sewn. So each child here today will have a uniform courtesy of the Grace Hamilton Foundation. I've had different sizes of shoes, didn't know what they were but I just, you know, as a mother as well, I know the size range. So hopefully um, a child will leave with a school uniform, shoes. I brought refreshments, we have music, we're just going to have fun with the children. And you know, I'm just excited to be here and to be able to share and to give back with the children. I'm a lover of children. So I'm always doing this when I travel around the world. So Ghana is just getting a taste of Grace Hamilton outside of Spice, the artist. That was poor for you there now. Don't know the report and we see them, we like them, we put them up, fully like them. If you're more than liking and subscribe yet, give it a subscribe. In the notification bell too, for them miss an update. This is Real Youth TV, we're out.